we're now in our camper van. It is huge. Oh my goodness. Look. And then behind that wooden um sorry, it's a bit bumpy. Sorry, the road's a bit bumpy. Behind this wooden thing here, there's a sink and cooking stove thing was that? Chris is constantly on driving. Um oh my gosh, it's also decorated like spray painted. Um so yeah, we are now in the camper van. It's so cool. We just had a bit of a debacle because we couldn't get the petrol cup open at the petrol station. Which is so embarrassing. Neither of us could find it. It was underneath the seat. Sorry that this lens isn't very wide. Our new GoPro is broken. So I'm, I'm going to set the old one up. And then hopefully it'll be wide enough to catch Chris as well. Um, so I will switch to the new GoPro to the old GoPro now. So I'm back. We've now switched to the old GoPro, which is a wider lens. Um, the only problem is I can't see what I'm filming on this. So hopefully you can see Chris and I. If not, sorry for cutting Chris out, but when I drive, if you let me, then Chris can take over the filming. Um, so as I was saying, this camera van is huge. Um, it's so cool though. We've thrown all our luggage in the back and then when we convert it up to somewhere you can sit and play cards or somewhere to sleep, we'll also film that later. Um, so I'm just going to stick this out the window. Although later on we will we'll show you the graffiti, but here we go. which is closed is from here between Lawn and Apollo Bay all the way to Cape Otterway National Park um, unfortunately this a lot of the guidebooks have told us is the best drive it's a 15 minute drive from Lawn to Apollo Bay so we're just going to go as far as we can and then we'll have to turn back and head inland and our campsite is somewhere up here anyway I said, do you speak my language? He just smiled and gave me a little giant sandwich. Hello. We're at Bell's Beach now, which is just past Tokyo. Bell's Beach. Oh, there's people surfing. I can't wait people actually surf. <laughs> As we pulled up, I was like, oh my god, that guy's been surfing. <laughs> Chris was like, well, yeah. Um, so this beach is famous for the Rip Curl Pro Curl competition. Basically yeah. the World Surfing Championship. What is it? No one says the World Surfing Championship. Some sort of Rip Curl Surfing Championship. Power banger. What, Australian have you learned? No, I might. <laughs> that was good. Um, so. Say the best one. Fuck me. <laughs> the best one. The best one then. Fuck me. Wow. Now that's 
<laughs> that was a retake. Not rehearsed uh, no, footage there. It wasn't rehearsed, I just wasn't filming. <laughs> but what enthusiasm! The sea is cold. Outward pointing footsteps. You do walk like a Spanish person. Oh my god, that is absolutely freezing. Oh my god, I went on my legs. It's so cold. The sea, the sand is quite hard, isn't it? Chris is now trying to walk in this with his feet pointing inwards instead of out. See the sea, very high sir. Well, not actually very high. Um, yeah, it's good. Nice and warm, the sun's come out. Um, yeah, that's about it really. Thanks for, thanks for watching. <laughs> I just filmed myself saying I loved her. Didn't you used to collect postcards of lighthouses? No, no I was going to at one point because I did find them quite fascinating, but yeah, that just got. Food and stuff. So cool, I'm gonna enjoy this now. 
Look good to you? Yeah, nice. trying to sort stuff out and um, we're losing stuff left right and centre we're not sure where everything is so Jen's in the back trying to sort stuff out <coughs> I lost our cue rings which we need for the bottle opener Chris I'll show you his beer stash and also I needed to make mmm beer <laughs> And also I needed to fashion myself a wine glass because I bought a bottle of wine today. Finally we managed to find them after looking in basically every single pocket of every case we have. And now I'm trying to get out everything that we need so that we can set the chairs and table up to relax. And then once we've finished playing cards we'll already have everything we need, we'll just need to set the bed up. It's actually quite stressful. Boobies. <laughs> Hello. I'm very excited because we are in our camper van. <laughs> um, I think I've decided I'm not really a camping person, although I'd like to be. I just, I just love the boutique hotels. Can't beat a nice warm bed, comfy fluffy pillows, and a pillow menu. What more would you like? <laughs> But this is fun nonetheless. I agree. The thing with camping for me is like the skanky bathrooms and toilets and showers. Ooh. They're okay here but it's still not, you know, it's not a hotel is it? But this is still good fun. It is and good we've, fun. We've set up um, <coughs> a little table. We're going to sort out all the tech for tomorrow and then play cards. 
Woo, bye. I've put a light on this and it's an underwater light. It's way too bright. Mm, I'm seeing wrong. white thing. Oh, you can turn it down. Oh. So we're now listening to a bit of Kenny West. Harass and harass. And we are going to finish watching Michael McIntyre. Mm. We're just looking at some pictures from today. Oh wow, that is a good one. Oh, so cool. yeah. The colours are amazing. The colours of the sea, but the camera really picks it up. Hmm. Cheers, cheers, cool. Cheers. It is <laughs> So I've just set the bed up. The light is so bright. Um, it's finally time to go to sleep. We're both so tired.